Oklahoma came into Monday night's Bedlam battle scorching hot, having won three straight ball games, and believe it or not, nine straight over Oklahoma State here at Lloyd Noble Center. But the Cowboys, well, they felt pretty good about themselves as well, having won four out of five. But Marcus Smart was in a foul mood, both literally and figuratively, after fouling out early against West Virginia and playing one of the worst games of his collegiate career. But Smart showed no ill effects from the Saturday struggle early, hitting both his shots from the on the arc. He had six points in the first half, but he played only six minutes due to foul trouble. He had two fouls before the break. He still finished with a game-high 22 points, four rebounds, three assists, but only three of 11 from deep. Still, the Cowboys led the majority of the first five and a half minutes until Jordan Woodard missed that shot. Ryan Spangler put it back in, got the foul. Once he hit the free throw, the Sooners led 11-10 and believe it or not, with 14 minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the first half, Oklahoma would not trail again. DJ Bennett with the dunk back as Oklahoma went on a 13-0 run to take a 10-point lead in the first half. However, the Cowboys stuck around due to Phil Forte. He was unconscious from deep, hitting all six of his shots from down the arc. He had 20 points. Unfortunately for him, the rest of the Cowboys hit only three of their 18 shots from beyond the arc. Markel Brown, one of the guys that struggled from deep, but he, he did get the emphatic dunk over DJ Bennett. He had 18 points, seven rebounds. But every time the Cowboys got close, the Sooners answered. Tyler Neal, the Sooner senior, had a season high 15 points. Hits the three pointer there. He was three of three from deep. This Sooner senior did not lose at home to the Cowboys in his Sooner career. Sooner freshman, however, Jordan Woodard starts off on a good note. He scored 17 of his 18 points in the second half. And how about the Gonzaga transfer, Ryan Spangler? He had 15 points and a career-high 17 rebounds in his first Bedlam appearance. Foul trouble once again rears its ugly head for the Pokes as three Cowboys foul out. The Brian Nash, Kamari Murphy, and Stevie Clark, and the Sooners shoot 42 free throws to Oklahoma State's 22 in an 88-76 Oklahoma win. Ryan has kind of been the cornerstone for our growth in the toughness area. And I think we're getting tougher. I think we've made big strides in that area. And, uh, and again, no state's hard to guard because they got so many people that can attack you and, and uh, talented guys. So uh, I thought you guys did a good job of that. Of course, foul trouble, not just Ryan in the first half, but their guys had foul trouble too. And that changes the complexion a bit. But uh, we were growing. We are kind of uh, feeding off of Ryan's toughness uh, in there. And uh, I think guys uh, so much appreciate what he brings every day in practice and every night. And, and uh, we're trying to move in that direction. You know, I just try to hustle people. Um, you know, I think that'll put me in the right position to get the ball. Uh, and right now, they're, they're falling my hands right now the way I want them to. And, uh, you know, some games are going to be hard to get, but lately they've been easy. And so, you know, I just got to keep hustling for my team. Yeah, you know, I don't want to make excuses, but yeah, it, it, it's it's a major issue. We've got to drive. We, just, we can't keep getting in foul trouble. I mean, that's we we know that. And it's tough to go to our bench, especially in this game where the way they play. Um, and um, our room for error is very small, especially in this game. So, um, no, it, it played a fairly significant role, but it, it's part of you, you, you know, we plan for that. We understand it could happen, but um, we just didn't get enough out of, yeah, we just, we just didn't play well. We haven't been playing our style of basketball. Uh, we've been in a lot of close, tough games, and it shouldn't be that for us. Uh, we haven't been moving the ball well on offense, and our defense has been down uh, also. So we, we just need to pick it up on both ends of the court. So Oklahoma is now 6-2 and two in conference and in sole possession of second place behind unblemished Kansas. But next up, the Sooners must head to Iowa State on Saturday and then West Virginia on Wednesday. Meanwhile, the Cowboys fall to 4-3 and three in conference and are in a tie for fourth place. But at least the Cowboys get to return home to Gallagher Ibarina, Arena, where they will host Baylor at 3 o'clock on Saturday and then number 16, Iowa State, 8 o'clock on Monday night. Reporting from Lloyd Noble Center, Damon Fontenot, News OK Sports.